got some pretty awesome casting news, and I am green with envy to hear the exciting news that Tatiana Maslany has landed the role of She-Hulk. Now, this was a Disney Plus series that was first announced at D23 in 2019, and this She-Hulk series was planned for this particular streaming service, and I thought, yay, more girl power coming to the MCU because we already have a Black Widow movie coming out. We've already seen a potential uh, for a future all-female Avengers team. Now we've got one that is sort of on the smaller end of things as far as the MCU goes. Now, while it is uncertain at this point uh, if they plan to have her in a more prominent role on the big screen as well, it is still cool to see uh, Tatiana Maslany take on such a physically demanding role because, I mean, you really have to embody this very muscular, female character and as far as appearances go her character is the cousin of Bruce Banner aka the Hulk played by Mark Ruffalo so it'd be really cool to see you know how you know that dynamic is going to play out on screen if uh, he ends up showing up at all I mean why wouldn't he I think it would just be really cool to see those interactions and see how well they are together because they did appear in the comics. I think that would just be pretty awesome. And while Tatiana Maslany will be showing up on Disney+, Plus, she is no stranger to working on a smaller platform. I think that she has quite a range to her acting, which uh, makes her a perfect choice to play uh, the role of Jennifer Walters, a.k.a. She-Hulk. And the most popular of her acting credits obviously is the BBC series Orphan Black and I actually really enjoyed watching that series. I mean I was definitely a part of the Clone Club. I don't know about you guys if you were a fan of that show but I definitely loved seeing how she played all these multiple characters with their varying personalities and I also most recently saw her in a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal called Stronger. I highly recommend checking that out. And uh, I think that was really good as well. But she proves she can lead in a role and still be quite memorable. So I, I can't wait to see how well uh, she's going to portray the character of She-Hulk. And, uh, you know, hopefully it will be just as memorable because I heard that a lot of people might not have had her on their radar as far as casting goes, but I think she makes a pretty awesome choice and one that I can't wait to see when She-Hulk hits Disney+. Plus. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the She-Hulk casting news of Tatiana, Tatiana Maslany as this character. And if she wasn't your first choice, who would you have cast instead? And are you looking forward to seeing She-Hulk on Disney Plus? So let me know. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.